And don't let these people run the narrative either. They're nothing but liars and, and, and violent psychopaths. You're an evil, vile, disgusting thing and not even worth being called human. Literally, these people are preying on your children. They want to hurt Christians. They're, they're disgusting human beings. They're evil, pure and simple evil. It's a lie. It's the same lie that Satan fed Eve. Lying scumbag, that's what you are. You are a lying piece of garbage. We'll tell these people, you are a bad parent. We pray for children, they pray on children, okay? There's the difference. We're out there fighting for children. They're out there fighting for drag queens and homosexuals. <laughs> Everything that God hates, these people encompass. And they're the ones that we're trying to play nice with. They're the ones we want to please. We want to make the Bible more palatable for people who hate the Bible and whom God hates. It is time for us to stand up to these reprobates and tell them what's what. And call them out for who they are. Pedophiles and perverts who need to repent and accept Christ and turn their life around. You see how these people are? Obsessive. Compulsive. <laughs> it's all about homosexuality. I thought I was going to get AIDS just going in that city. She's such a lying piece of trash. There are people that God hates. Do you understand why now it's important to stand up to these reprobates? Why we cannot let them use these power, these words to dictate who we are? This is all about being gay. This is all about pushing a gay ideology onto children. You're on your way to hell, and Jesus Christ came to free you from hell. It's all lies. These are perverts that are looking out and are trying to get your children. If you think pushing your child into a gay lifestyle is normal and healthy, you don't love your child. There is a reason that these people are so dead set on getting children. It's because they want to sleep with them. I'm sick of this. When you're an overweight child in a society that demands perfection, well, your sense of right, wrong, fair and unfair will always be tragically skewed. <laughs> I have 135,000 people on this page right now. And, you know, we've never ever once cursed out anybody, whether atheist, trans, gay, what have you, have never done it once.
What are you fucking nuts? You have grown homosexual men dressing up like dogs, getting on all fours and acting like dogs for sexual gratification. And do you know what dogs do? They run around sniffing each other's rear ends and then they mount each other. Only dogs usually don't sodomize one another. You'll find that most child molestations happen by one third of all these molestations are done by homosexual men. YouTube has de demonetized any Christian video, their entire social media accounts, their entire platforms, if they don't subscribe to this ideology. Did you know that just wanting to be friends of the world makes you an enemy of God? Just wanting to be friends of the world makes you an enemy of God. I mean, laws are actually being proposed to criminalize Christianity. How about the fact that men of sex and men have higher instances of prostate cancer, rectal prolapse, anal prolapse, rectal prolapse, whatever it is. <laughs> that these are sexual deviants, that these are perverts that are looking out and are trying to get your children. There is a reason that these people are so dead set on getting children. It's because they want to sleep with them. Do you know John the Baptist lost his head for po pointing out sexual immorality? He actually was murdered, had his head cut off for pointing out sexual morality. That translates to a homosexual being 11 times more likely to harm a child than anybody else. These people claim they want rights when it's actually us that need our rights. You know, the rights that the Constitution actually grants us. But queers have rights, stop. They never not had rights. Most homosexuals that get older, they wind up wearing huggies or pampers because they can't hold their stool in. Deny and lie. They are a bunch of filthy, lying, pedophile supporting perverts. <laughs> We pray for them in the name of Jesus. Those assignments that Satan is trying to, to launch against families now, to disrupt families and to destroy our youth, we come against it now in the name of Jesus. You no longer have an authority. The church is waking up. The church is becoming wise to your tricks, becoming wise to your attacks in the name of Jesus. I read somewhere that their periods attract bears. The bears can smell the menstruation over all of our children, over all of our children, Father God, that you pour out your spirit on all of them, Lord. I like you and have no reason not to. I like you and have no reason not to. Hey, did you hear about that magic baby that was born in Bethlehem? When the, when the Bible was uh, written,
and then rewritten, and then edited, and then re-edited, and then translated from dead languages, and then re-retranslated, and then re-edited, and then re-re-re-edited, and then re-translated, and then uh, given to kings for them to take their favorite parts out, and then re-edited, and then re-translated, and then re-edited, and then given to the Pope for him to approve, and then re-retranslated, then re-rewritten, then rewritten, re-edited, re-translated, re-edited again, all based on stories that were told orally 30 to 90 years after they happened to people who didn't know how to write. So. Lord, we pray for those parents for strength. We pray for revelation knowledge, Lord. We pray that they come back to you, Father. We pray that people come back to repentance in the name of Jesus. These people are, are getting more and more agitated. They're getting more and more angry. And they are going to come for you soon. They are going to come for you soon. Deny and lie. How many people are going to watch this video and tell me how unloving I am? How we have to be nice and we just have to accept everybody. After all, it's all about inclusion. I'm sorry, but the church doesn't include sinners. The church doesn't include the wicked. The church does not include those whom God calls abominable. Because they use propaganda to denigrate and propagate actual hatred of Christians. They're just simply following their, their, Satan, their, 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 their master, their, uh, their, their daddy. So I'm the devil, and I'm here to say I'm the most evil rapper in the USA. Remember, these people are wicked, perverted, disgust. I mean, you know, they, they, they lie through their wicked teeth. People who were saved during the tribulation period will be hunted down and indeed murdered. Murdered. These people have nothing but sex on their mind. That's all of the, everything is sexualized. Everything, everything about them. At the end of the day, it's all about trying to get your children so that they can have sex with them. We are at war. To war! Look at this clown, clown fest. You all need to get right with God, folks. If you get right with God, you wouldn't have to be so confused about what your gender is. Yeah. Oh, you're going over there? I would never. They follow me wherever I go. What privilege? They don't care about kids. They care about Look what's wrong with you. You people are devoid of any kind of normalcy. Did you need Jesus Christ? Oh, that's a weird face. That looks like a pervert face right there. Tell me, tell me that's not a face that makes kids. Oh, look at this weirdo. We got another weirdo in town. Man, aren't you I love him. Huh? I love him. What, Budweiser? Ga no, I love him, Gabriel. Oh. <laughs> you have to give you an exception. You don't get to go to heaven because you're Jewish. You don't get a free pass. Get right with God. Look at this word over here. He wants to rape somebody. He looks like he's trying to find a kid. I don't know. Get right with the God of the Bible, or you're going to end up finding yourself in hell. Wicked, 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 wicked. These people are All disgusting. These people are Some guys. Pervert, pervert, pervert. Right. I said they're going to love each other straight to hell. That's what they're going to do. But here's the thing. Whenever we do these things, the police always have to remove people from their side for some reason. Never ours. It's amazing. I haven't said anything. I've just been telling people not to swear there's kids around, and I get stuff said to me. So... Pretty sure. Next thing I'll wait for is black remarks. Oh, you know I'm about about to to me, yeah. <laughs> I see many parents here today that deserve to have a millstone tied around their neck and drown at the bottom of the sea. Amen. You are indoctrinating kids and you are sending kids straight to hell. There is no peace for the wicked. Even though. Wicked goes hand in hand. Always gotta make it sexual. You will, you will be destroyed. So much intelligence, it's un it's amazing. Fruitcake, fruitcake. 
Yeah. Well, it seems the fruitcake show really showed up today, guys. <laughs> and it really appears that the weirdo show came today in an attempt to continue to pervert our children. You all are not men. You are sad excuses. You're whipping boys for the feminist group. I'm showing lots of love to you today by telling you that you're going to hell. You're turning your kids out to be society's next generation of perverts. That's right. Inspiration. Disease, disease, disease. You're raising a pervert. Why do you hate your child? Your mommy hates you, by the way. Your mommy hates you. Yes, she does. They try and say that I have a criminal history because I was arrested in 2004 for organized fraud. And uh, it took a year. And yes, I pled no contest adjudication withheld so that I can be done with it because the prosecutor got fired and everything else. So it was a special, in it was a special interest play or no best interest play just to get it done because I was working in America's mortgage company and was tired of going to court every month. My rhymes are fly, my beats are sick. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's cause Jesus Christ is my nigga. You know, there are a lot of Christians out there, preachers who have yoked up with LGBT, I'm talking nasty, nasty LGBT supporters because of a common hatred they have of words for Christ. Now I'ma pass the mic to my lovely wife. She's a fly MC and the light of my life. So the bust a rhyme without further ado. Take it away, Mary Sue. Jesus Christ is my nigga. He's the son of the original G. But then they'll go and they will yoke up. I mean, I'm talking some of the nastiest, most vile, disgusting, liberal rainbow loons that exist on this planet. I'm talking complete and utter mental defects. <laughs> They are biblically illiterate. They know nothing. They don't study at all. They know nothing. Deny and lie. Uh, from all intents and purposes, it appears that they're sexually attracted to their own children. I kid you not. Oh. No different than the Nazis. They Shut up, Richard. <laughs> Bondage gear is now a thing at Drag Queen Story Hour. <laughs> You could trouble me for a warm glass of shut the hell up. But as somebody who doesn't know God, does somebody who hates God actually know the Bible better than we do?
So the fact that I have a tattoo, does that mean I'm a cherry picker? Does that mean I'm a hypocrite because, because of our stance on same-sex marriage? Because of our stance on abortion? Am I a hypocrite for that? Uh, no. <laughs> um, you know, they're, they're gonna have they're gonna have blood in their hands. Uh, they're validating the hate of, of, of the pervert. Three, two, one. There's been a lot of talk lately about homosexuals, but how do you know what to believe? Well, here are a few tips that may help you tell when you've got a gay. So, uh, what's your favorite Madonna album? I like her early work. If his answer is anything but, I've never bought one, you've got a gay. Let's take a blood sample, Mr. Braga. If instead of human blood, you find a deadly corrosive acid, you've got a gay. <laughs> Not this time, Nancy boy. Are you an atheist? A nice one? Generally a good guy? Well, let me tell you something. Life is not a pass-fail test, and yes, according to the Bible, you are going to hell. I don't agree with atheists, and I think atheists are some of the most, some of them are some of the most horrible people on the planet. Miss for Natalie, is bringing a Muslim into the classroom on February 21st to teach the kids about Islam. Are you a Muslim? Are you a Hindu? A Buddhist? You may be a wonderful person, and we can certainly be polite to you, treat you decently, and wish you well, but your gods don't exist. And Jesus says that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father but through him. <clears throat> we don't curse at people. We don't wish harm on people. We don't wish death on people. Nothing we say is hateful. Nothing. A couple of eight articles are written about us by uh, a couple of atheist bloggers and some, some uh, LGBT bloggers as well. Uh, that painted us in a bad light that said, you know, we're hateful, anti-gay, yada, 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 you know, the whole hyperbole thing. They're, they're going to say they're fighting back against harassment. Nobody here has ever harassed them. It's never happened, okay? You see how dumb these people are? They don't rationalize or think properly because they want to try to catch me, you know, as being hateful or, or whatever, for whatever reason. And, you know, they, they can never, they, can, they never can. That's what they do. They spin things to make it look like it's not really happening. This person wasn't really an LGBT, whatever. Oh, I don't know about you, but if you're gay, you're part of the LGBT, unless you have some code book like we have in the Bible. 80%, and you guys can look this up, again, verify it. 80% of those Catholic priests that hurt those children, they didn't even do it to prepubescent boys. They were, they were boys, they were post-puberty, which means they're not pedophiles, they're homosexuals. So the Catholic Church has a homosexual problem and a pedophile problem. Thank God I'm not a Catholic. I do not want anything from you or your crowd. I don't want anything. I don't want any contact. They hate with such fury. They're like ravenous wolves. Because Satan knows that it's war. And this is war going on between the kingdom of light and the kingdom of darkness. Satan knows this better than most Christians I meet today. Apparently there was a nurse from the LGBT giant queen support that ran over and I did. I told her, get away from my kid. I don't want you touching my daughter. You know, I don't want, you know, I, I do believe in spiritual transferences and I did not want that spirit. You know, when you touch people, you, got, you know, we have a no touch where we go out there. Okay, Absolutely. we have a no touch rule. You don't touch us. We don't want that. We don't know what you're gonna have. We know what you do. You don't touch us. These people are violent. They're psychopaths. We see people who say they are Christian aligning with LGBT and their supporters. We see people who stand up for God's word viciously ripped apart by the very people who profess to be Christian. They have traded truth for a lie. And then they're attacking people. Attacking people who know what the Bible says and follow it. Good is evil. Evil is good. That's what's happening today. Why do you think our page is so throttled and shadow banned? We're the most censored group on Facebook. Why? We've never used any derogatory slurs to anybody. 
we have homosexuals literally or in their supporters literally lying through the, if their mouth is moving they're probably lying right this was a cover all of this was a cover-up a cover-up from tattoos i had before as a christian we're gonna be standing on the rock not peter the rock and we're going to pretend like God loves us all, you know, leading up to the event. And there was a lot of hatred for us. I mean, a lot, right? Hmm, that's a mystery. Let me tell you something. I have dealt with these people for years. I have been called the worst things you could possibly imagine. I have had every lie thrown at me. I've been accused of being a felon. I've been accused of running sex trafficking rings worldwide. I've been accused of having my wife not exist. I've been accused of having children, I don't know, 20 different continents. I've been, I mean, and, and, but that's what they do. They do it because they want you to be fearful. They want you to be afraid. They want you to be anxious. They want you to be worried. They want you to quit. You do not have to live a defeatist life anymore. There is victory in Christ. But you know what we do? We come through these things. When those tests come, when those trials come, when those persecutions come, we praise God even more. We praise God even louder. And when we come through the other side, we are richly blessed more than we were when we went in these things. That if we stay focused on Jesus, we can walk on water, we can move mountains, and we can calm the storm in his name. I'm, I'm, I, I'm so sick of, of fake Christians that hurt the witness of all of us that are Christian. When did it become permissible for Muslims in public schools and workplaces to be allowed to practice their religion? Houston is probably so far the most wicked I've ever been to. This teacher is a liar and teaching our kids to lie on top of it. Because actual hate speech is threatening. Actual hate speech is saying derogatory things to people. That is actually hate speech. You know, things you'll never find on our page. The world doesn't need to see more hate. I mean, come on. Turn, just turn, I've been watching the news all day. Hate's everywhere. The world needs to see us for who we really are. The world, you know what love is? God is love. It's love that draws the world to the glory of God. When did it become normal for unchristian thinkers to have power over Christian thinkers? When did it become normal for LGBT people to have more rights for their beliefs? than for a Christian who believes in Jesus' commands to stand up for their beliefs. So let's deal with the actual issues. But they're using this as the tool to get children. Because after all, as Nambla puts it, children at young ages need a role model. Children need somebody to help them because they're, they don't, they're not confident. They might commit suicide if they don't have an adult to help them in their journey through the homosexual lifestyle. Sounds good, but what most people think about is, well, if that's true, then why do you need to have sex and to do it? I can mentor a child and <laughs> not worry about having sex with them. Why can't they do that? It's all a ploy to lower the age of consent laws under the guise of mentoring children so that they can have sex with them. That's it. That's their, that's it at the end of the day. And they'll sit there and tell you that there's absolutely no science to back that. They'll tell you that it's a lie, it's hate, it's propaganda. It's not. But here's the thing now. This teacher, okay, what's her name? Miss for Natalie. Miss Natalie is bringing a Muslim into the classroom on February 21st to teach the kids about Islam. If you want to see the example of intolerance and you want to see the example of hate, just look down. How many people are going to watch this video and tell me how unloving I am? How we have to be nice and we just have to accept everybody. After all, it's all about inclusion. I'm sorry, but the church doesn't include sinners. The church doesn't include the wicked. The church does not include those whom God calls abominable. Welcome to Straight Camp, everyone. You're all here because you've made a choice to renounce your evil, sinful ways and redeem yourselves in the eyes of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who hates many people, but none more than homosexuals.
And just to be clear, these are public pictures. These are not personal photos. These are pictures posted publicly and under fair use guidelines, we are allowed to use them for uh, exposing purposes and for um, documentary purposes and, and, and newsworthy things. No, it's not, retard. <laughs>